I remember the very first time I got caught by my parents being high. And uh, I remember at the time, like, I was uh, with my, you know, a group of skaters that I always skated with. And at the time, my parents were already, like, they're like, <laughs> we don't like you hanging out with these guys. Like, these guys are no good. Like, they're, they're just super did not like my friends and did not like skateboarding at all. They did not support me skateboarding, like, at all. Like, only my skate uh, my sisters would buy me skateboards. And I think, like, my dad bought me a skateboard, like, once or twice. But they would not support that shit at all. They hated it. And then uh, I remember... Um, like one day I fucking like come home faded and I was like 15 or 16 years old. I come home faded from uh from like skating and I didn't have clear eyes. I ran out and I was like, fuck, I don't have clear eyes. Actually, I didn't have clear eyes. So I stopped by the store and I buy Visine. And I don't know if you know the differences, but Visine has this weird effect where Visine will make your eyes like double red for like oh. five minutes. And then it's going to take the clearness, you know, make it super clear or whatever. And like, uh, so I was like in the elevator going upstairs and I fucking pop in my clear, my oh uh, Visine real quick. And then it starts making my eyes roll super red. I didn't know this at the time, but I walk in, my parents are like, Yoda, like what's wrong with your eyes? Why are they so fucking red? And I was just like, I don't know, like why? And they come up to me, they smell me, they're like you smell like weed, like what the fuck is this? And blah, blah blah. And then you know what's funny is I actually had a neighbor who was my parents' friend who would come check up on me, like whenever my parents were out. And there was, and I remember like uh, my sisters would tell me they're like, hey, don't worry about uh, this lady called Dina. They're like she she's never in her life. She was like 60, 70 years old, but she's never in her whole life had an interaction with weed so she has no idea what it smells like so she's like if they if she walks into the house and like she smells something just tell her you blew a candle out or something and i remember she whenever she would walk in she would not know what weed smelled like it was like so weird so it's weird that my parents smelled me and were like you smell like weed so they already knew what weed smelled like that's i don't know how the hell they knew that but either way they told me like there's California. They were super pissed off. Yeah, probably that. But they were super pissed off at me, obviously, because I was young and smoking weed. And then I, and they're like, what happened? Like, why did you smoke weed? And I was just like telling them, like, I didn't smoke weed. I, I told them that, like, my friends were trying to get me to smoke weed. And I was telling them, like, no, no, I don't want to <laughs> smoke oh, weed. Right. And then I told my parents that, like, all my friends, like, pinned me in a corner and were blowing smoke in my face. And then oh, <laughs> they fucking like bought it. God. And they were like, they were like, I told you not to hang out with those guys, blah, blah, blah. And they were just like so upset. But they're, wow. I told them that my friends were fucking blowing smoke in my face. And that's why I was faded. Yeah. Which could happen. That's but funny. Would, would, would be kind of weird of my friends to do. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's funny that you said that, that they noticed your eyes. Because I used to like, as soon as I would get home from school, I'd go straight to the shower and like take a take shower. Because shower your eyes get red after a shower. And my mom would be like, Don't I'm stupid. I know <laughs> you you're going straight to the shower. Really? Yeah. Oh my. Wait, so how old were you at this point? This is when I was going to beauty school. So like 18, 19. 19? When did you start smoking? 18? Nine, nine, I would say like I tried smoking like when I was in high school, like 17, like mm -hmm. senior year of high school. And you didn't like it? I was never like cons like consistent with it, but I started getting stonery when I was mm. in beauty school. I just, I remember I always was super against weed and then... I think I talked about my, did I ever talk about my first time smoking weed where my friends basically like told me if I don't smoke weed, they're going to break my board and beat me up or whatever. And like, I ended up, oh, yeah. I ended up smoking the weed and, and then, you felt uh, hella guilty. and I felt super guilty and I never felt an urge to smoke again in my head. I was like, that's it. I knocked it out. I'm never going to do that again. And then I think that was like a ninth or 10th grade. And then I started realizing that like everyone that was like cool in school, like, you know what I mean? Like smoked weed or whatever and i was just like oh like people want to hang out with you when you smoke weed and i just started like realizing that like it just makes you cooler like I, for a certain point like i started smoking just because i thought it made me cool you know really? like it gave me a personality oh. like i'm the i'm the kid i'm the badass kid in school who doesn't give a fuck who smokes blunts in the bathroom was like i kind of liked i remember like uh like my friends in like uh, ninth and tenth grade would be like, dude, you're not gonna graduate high school. You're gonna be a fuck up. Blah 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 blah. And like, I remember I would just be like, fuck you. Like I'm smoking weed. Like I remember I, that was just like my personality. Where right? I just loved to be the stoner of the school. Like that was like my thing. And uh, I forgot where the fuck my point was. <laughs> that, that, that's what comes <laughs> with being a stoner. <laughs> but oh yeah, it was like my first time smoking weed. And then anyways, like I remember uh, once I got into high school, started realizing that I I felt like I was cooler by smoking weed. And then I just started smoking weed more and more often. And I started realizing that people could smoke in school. And I was just like, oh, this is the best shit ever. I'll just smoke in school. And then I realized you can jump out of school and go home and not even go to school. And I was like, this is... Such a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was kind of a terrible child. I'd have been like, oh my god, he's such a stoner. Because I was so anti weed for the longest time. And I, then was I was too. Like, I was super it. anti weed too. I was like, I'm gonna try it when I was like turn the scene like a senior. I was like, I'm gonna fucking try it. But and you, I went to a party. We smoked. Of course. Before the party. Wait, out of and a I, blunt? Out of a blunt? No, or? out of, of a pipe. Like a hand pipe? Yeah. Okay, and that's so rough. Like, You're probably like coughing all crazy. But I guess I didn't feel like super stoned. But when I got to the party, I looked in the mirror and I saw my eyes hella red. And everybody was like, You're lit. And I they was always like, say, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lit. Who knows what's going to happen to me tonight? Tony. There's no way. I was like, uh huh. I'm hot, so hot. Uh-huh. But I didn't feel anything. Yeah, that, that's what they say is like your first couple times smoking is you don't feel Wait, it. Wait, do we have these shots poured? Yeah, let's take these shots.